Engineers are meant to be heroes who push their brains to the limits for the sake of safe transportation, structurally sound buildings, life-saving technologies, and non-toxic, sustainable forms of energy. All things which not only protect humankind, but protect this planet that we call home. However, despite the truth of this matter, whenever we walk into one of our lecture halls, we see a half-empty room filled with miserable, disengaged, and even cheating engineering students. These are the people, future engineers that mankind will depend upon. Therefore, it is your duty to maintain your purpose and stand out amongst all of your other peers. And today, I will show you exactly the way to do it. Starting with deprioritizing your grades, because grades are absolutely the number one reason that most of your engineering peers are freaking miserable, right? Because all of your other peers, they're staying up all night, pulling all nighters, studying for exams, and they're staying up late, trying to finish this one assignment that's worth like 0.5% of their grade, right? I study engineering at one of the top universities in my country, and I can tell you for a fact that grades, they don't mean shit. Look at any internship posting, or look at any job posting for an engineer. They're not looking for someone with a 5.5 million GPA, right? They're looking for someone who has deeper levels of skill, not just grades and a sexy report card. And I even asked the people at the internship that I'm working at right now, the engineers, the literal professional engineers, what percentage of the courses that they took in university, the things that they learned in university was actually applicable to the job. And you might be thinking like, um, what, like 80%? 50%, maybe even as low as 40%. They said 10% of what they learned in university was actually used in their professional engineering uh, career. Is that not fucking crazy? So why are people trying to get the perfect report card, sexy straight A report card, straight A's blind in a vertical manner? Are you trying to impress mommy and daddy, huh? Because if you are trying to get the report card, then I got news for you. You're doing something so low leverage because you're making yourself miserable by staying up all night. You're staying um, up late just to finish this one assignment. All for what? Just this piece of paper. Now, I wanna say a disclaimer though, that I don't want you to be what I call a pretend engineer who just plays video games in class and then just um, cheats on their assignments and then just skips lectures because I said that grades don't matter. I still want you to take your classes seriously. I just don't want you to take your grades seriously because you should prioritize learning above grades. Learning is the whole reason you went to university, okay? The reason of going into university was to develop your career as an engineering student and develop your career as an engineer. And the way to do that is through learning, not getting a piece of paper that says a a a a a And so now when you prioritize learning, you prioritize the skill of problem solving. And what is problem solving? You tell me. Tell me, Mr. Engineer, what is problem solving? Problem solving is literally the essence of an engineer. Engineers saw the problem of families being too far apart from one another, so they developed efficient forms of transportation. They saw the problem of global warming and the problem of climate change, so they developed sustainable forms of energy. They saw the problem of people suffering from diseases, so they developed medical devices which would help them deal with such tremendous diseases. They saw the problem of terrible forms of long form communication, so they developed the cell phone that you're watching this video on right now. That is why it is your priority as an engineer engineering student to focus on learning, not focus on some paper report card. Now, deprioritizing your grades is a defensive way to maintain your level or your sense of purpose, should I say. However, the offensive way to build your sense of purpose is through making projects. Now, this pyramid right here is something that I talk about a lot in my program linked down below. And it is important for your career development as an engineering student. At the top, obviously the career, then there's internships, but your career, it all starts with projects. This is your baseline level of experience. And it just happens to be that projects also help develop your sense of purpose because projects are fun as hell. You're doing real engineering work when you're just an engineering student. You don't even have your degree yet and you're doing this fun shit like building all of these things based on personal projects or whether it be design club projects. And those are the two uh, forms of projects that I want you to focus on. Personal projects, design club projects. Design projects are fun as hell. Say you're passionate about the automotive industry. You're one of, a, you're one of those car guys. Then if you join a design club, like a motorsports club or one of your solar car clubs at your university, then you're going to get immediate feedback from other engineering students on your designs, on the thing that you're working on. And you're going to see once you enter an, a competition for this engineering club, you're going to get like a top placement in the ranking. You're going to get like number one. And then you're going to see like, wow, I made a huge contribution to this club. And I'm just an engineering student. Imagine how much skill I'm going to have as an engineer when I'm in the engineering field. With this level of skill, 
I could literally work for Formula One. I could work for highest companies of the automotive industry like Lamborghini, Ferrari, Bugatti, Rolls Royce, all of these types of um, car companies that you're passionate about. And when you develop that mindset, when you're just a student, imagine the level of the sense of purpose that you will have towards engineering. And then there's personal projects. Personal projects, you're in absolute control of the projects that you could make. Me, myself, I made stuff like gearboxes. I made stuff like engine models. I made stuff like gearbox-driven propeller launchers. Once I saw that feedback, that my engineering work was actually working, and I was getting the result that I actually wanted, imagine the sense of purpose that arose in me. This was These projects, these were literally the thing that kept me going throughout engineering school because they gave me that sense of purpose. Now, personal projects and design club projects, they don't just, they're not just fun, okay? They're not just here for fun, but they also develop your character as an engineer because personal projects, they develop initiative, they develop passion, and they show it once you tell your recruiters about them because uh, recruiters, they're looking for someone with uh, self-drive, self-motivation. And if you're someone that made personal projects, then you're someone that told yourself what to do. What speaks more self-drive than that, right? And what speaks more independence than that? When you actually work at an engineering internship, you might not know this, but they they actually throw you in the deep end. When I was first starting at my internship that I'm working at right now, they threw me in the fucking deep end. I didn't have the supervisor babysitting me along the way. He was too busy with meetings and stuff. So I had to use my own skill of independence to thrive while I was starting, just starting out in that company. And you're gonna need that skill of independence as well. So you're gonna you may as well develop that skill right now while you're a student by doing personal projects. And personal projects also shows that you have passion to recruiters and recruiters they're obviously looking for someone with passion because passion that leads to that sense of purpose and anyone with that sense of purpose is always going to help the company that they're working at and then design clubs also develop your character because when you're working at a design club you're going to be talking to other engineering students and when you're in a um, engineering industry company you're going to be talking to other engineers you always have to communicate when you're talking in an engineering company and then when you talk to recruiters about your experiences in this design club they're gonna be like wow this guy's a good communicator he was able to influence people he was able to get everybody's ideas and sort of come to a, a mutual conclusion this guy's a great communicator. Let's fucking hire this guy. Now, speaking of internships, this is the third and last way that you're gonna develop your sense of purpose as an engineering student. Because when you join an engineering company as an intern, you're stepping away from engineering school. The one thing that makes people most miserable while in engineering, the one thing that makes people lose their passion and their sense of purpose for engineering. So once you step away from that to actually work in the engineering field, something that is much easier than engineering school, then there's pretty much no way that you could lose your sense of purpose because you're doing real engineering work. You're doing work that is gonna help the customers of this company and you see that almost immediately. Now internships are actually correlative with purpose in two different ways because internships, they help you develop your sense of purpose as I just uh, said right there. And purpose also helps you develop yourself into an engineering internship. It's like an equilibrium, a little joke for you chemistry engineers out there. You know, comment down below, what's your major as an engineering student? I'm really curious to see. But yeah, internships is in equilibrium with purpose. Because in order to get an internship, the recruiters, they're going to want someone with passion. They're going to want someone with a drive, someone that's willing to learn. And who do you think is going to be someone like that? These pretend engineers that I call, that lack slack off in class, slack off on their assignments, and they're freaking miserable? Or do you think it's going to be the purposeful man, the man that's ambitious, that literally spends his free time on personal projects. The man that focuses on his learning rather than his report cards. Obviously the ambitious, purposeful engineer is going to get the position over this soft dick little engineering student. So yeah, purpose helps you get an internship, but internships also help you get purpose. Because as I said earlier, when you're working as an, as an intern, you're seeing the real life uh, effects of your work, of your engineering work what sparks more purpose in you than that, right? It has been far too long that modern engineering students are unpurposeful. The pretend engineers that play video games in class, the pretend engineers that skip class, the, the pretend engineers that use AI to cheat on their exams, cheat on their assignments, act without integrity. It has been far too long that pretend engineers have been in this world. It's time that us, the purposeful engineers, rise above them by developing our sense of purpose using the strategies that I talked about in this video. 
It is your responsibility to be a hero for humanity. It is your responsibility to be a hero for this planet. It is your responsibility to develop humankind. Because we all know for a fact that these other pretenders aren't going to fulfill the duty, the true duty that an engineer should have. And if you agree with me, I really think they should join my community linked down below because I really want to bring together all of the strongest purposeful engineers of this world into a single community so that we can network, so that we can help one another. Because most purposeful engineers, they're surrounded by pretenders and pretenders, they're just going to fuck over the actual purposeful engineers. Surround yourself with the purposeful and reject the unpurposeful.